Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Courtney Michelle, and I am back with another video. So this particular message I have already released to a group of women in a private uh, meeting, but the Lord wants me to come and share it on my public platform. So here I am because I am an obedient daughter. Okay. So the scripture that will uh, be the foundation for today's message is Hebrews 4 and 16. I'm going to be reading from the NIV version. And it says, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Okay. So in the body of Christ, we all have different spiritual gifts. Um, some of us are even called to the fivefold ministry. But the one thing that we all should have in common is our gift of intercession. We should all know how to pray. So the Lord says that some of us are still being timid and hiding in the background when it comes to prayer um, and allowing the enemy to silence us because that's exactly who it is. The Lord has put in you the power to pray heaven down to earth. But if you're still remaining silent because you're scared of, oh, I, I might not know what to say. I don't know if I'm hearing the Holy Spirit correctly. I may sound stupid. I'm country. I'm this. I'm that. Mm, that's the enemy silencing you. And we're going to rebuke the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. And we're going to ask the Lord to release your tongue. Because clearly... It's going to be times where you're going to have to rise to the occasion. I'll give you a specific example a couple of weeks ago where I had to rise to the occasion. I was at work and a good friend of mine texts me and she said, Hey, Courtney, when you get home, can you call me and pray with me? And I said, sure. But as I replied to the text with sure, the Holy Spirit yelled in my ear, hopelessness. So I said, okay. So I text her, I said, hey, I said, um, why are you feeling hopeless? What's going on? And she responded. She said, oh, nothing's going on. I just need some prayer and guidance. I wasn't convinced because I know what the Holy Spirit just told me. So fast forward, I get home and get settled. I was picking up my phone. The Holy Spirit said, FaceTime her. I said, okay. So I FaceTimed her and she answered the phone. I said, hey, I said, what's, go what's going on? And she then began to describe about three different situations that just happened right on top of one another. And she just went into a bad place. Then she said, I promise you, if I would have had a, I would have, <laughs> I hope you guys could re read in between the lines. So before she can even get that last sentence out, I went to praying in the spirit. Rebuking everything the Holy Spirit was telling me. And I was praying and decreeing and declaring over her what God says about her. Not what the enemy was trying to convince her about herself in that time. I prayed over her for a good 15 minutes straight. And as I was watching her, I can see her spirit being lifted. And as we finished, you know, we thank the Lord, we begin to praise and so on and so forth. She said, thank you so much. So I shared this story to tell y'all that there are going to be occasions where, you know, you can't just pray for someone in your secret place because they need you. You don't have time to text someone and say, hey, can you pray for such a, such a with me? No, you have to rise to the occasion. I even checked on her the following day and she was just like, I just feel so much better. So again, as intercessors, we can't remain silent, especially in times like that. So the one thing I love about God is that you can pray and ask him anything. Because I was that same person. Oh, I would do a lot of praying and, you know, and decreeing and declaring by myself. <laughs> but I had to ask the Lord because I knew I was still timid. But I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, I pray that you give me boldness. Because we have to realize 
our boldness from the Lord comes from the Lord. So all you have to do is pray and ask him for it. Lord, can you please make me bolder for you? Holy Spirit, help me pray. The Holy Spirit is our helper. When Jesus ascended to heaven, he left us with a helper, the Holy Spirit. We can ask him for help for anything, including prayer. Lord, can you help me? Holy Spirit, can you help me pray for this person? Can you help me be more confident in prayer? And I guarantee you, the Holy Spirit will help you. And I guarantee you that you will see your prayers start to move mountains. So again, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice in this video, if you're still having those feelings of being shy and timid in regards to praying out loud and praying over people, and you know for a fact that the Lord has put it in you to be an intercessor, I pray, I pray that you begin to ask God for boldness and confidence. So I pray that this short message blessed you. I pray that you have a great day. I love you with the love of the Lord. Have a good one.